Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, this looks like the um, bad news Monday, basically, with all the videos that I'm actually uh, taking out of what is uh, several problems. Now, even Windows 10 has issues uh, with the Patch Tuesday. Well, what happened on Patch Tuesday? The difference is that, apparently, it's not the cumulative update that necessarily has this issue. So when we got Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10 in January, so several things happened at the same time. If you look at the update history, there's one particular one that is apparently the cause of all the Windows 10 nightmares that some have. Once again, just a um, you know smaller majority of people that have that issue but it's still you know something that uh, is happening with uh, those people is you know kind of unpleasant so Windows 10 is having issues also with this one the famous KB5049981 that's right here is causing tons of problems in Windows 10 for some of you one of them your USB ports completely stop working Worse yet, a lot of the services that are related actually in the task manager, they start showing up as devices that can't start. There's a problem with that. So if you have your USB devices that stop working in January, you don't know what to do. Uh, and if you look at the device manager in Windows 10 and you see that all your USB devices have things that can't start, then, yeah, that could be the cause of the issue. Uh, a lot of people are complaining that it is KB5049981. That's the um, culprit. So USB device is not starting. Uh, if they are, you might have, like in Windows 11, a problem with the digital audio conversions. If you have USB audio devices, they might be problematic, not working well. Uh, this is also something that is kind of known. So really a host of issues this month of January that is popping up a little later. Took a few weeks before we started seeing these complaints. But uh, this is, you know, once again, kind of unacceptable that Microsoft issues such crappy updates. And it seems it's getting worse. It's as if Microsoft is lazier and lazier and whatever it's doing and it it has an impact you know it'll give a negative impact of a lot of things so you have the ones that i talked about today on windows 11 which of course is not going to want a lot of people going to windows 11 because they're going to see there's tons of problems and now windows 10 is affected when it should just you know ride and surf the wave until the end of of support um this is this is dumb and this is stupid uh microsoft is obviously not working very well in uh, the, the updates in the last year. And I don't know, maybe they're too focused on AI and things that people don't want. Maybe they should refocus on, hey, Windows is uh, what people use every day and they want it to work perfectly. So uh, yes, if you have USB issues, audio issues, there's of course the uh, uh, service, the broker service that is uh, broken that Microsoft says, well, you know, don't worry about it. I mean, there's, there's, it's, it's unacceptable. There's just too much stuff that isn't going well. Uh, so hopefully, Microsoft's going to wake up and fix things. Uh, this week, once again, also Windows 10 is going to get its bug fixing updates. I have it here because this is an insider preview, but it should pop up during the week this this uh, week, maybe tomorrow Tuesday. So uh, let's hope that uh, some of this could be fixed in there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.